Bearcat football 1987 was a season of record-setting performances and a year of development for a young football program. One of the largest crowds ever to witness the Cincinnati home opener saw the Bearcats take on Eastern Power Rutgers. An anticipated offensive explosion turned into a defensive slugfest. UC's first touchdown of the season on this 18-yard pass play. It was UC's lone score in a 10-7 loss. Danny McCoy became the school's all-time leading passer during that game. Bearcat offense got untracked in game number two versus Louisville. Al McKinney rushed for a career-high 144 yards. However, led by Andrew Stewart, who had four quarterback sacks, Cincinnati recorded its first shutout in four seasons. beaten Penn State in 1986, the Bearcats were looking forward to their 1987 visit to Happy Valley. The defending national champions were up to the challenge and turned back UC 41 to nothing, despite some fine individual defensive efforts like this one by Chris Asbeck. O'Brien relieved the injured Danny McCoy at quarterback. Unfortunately, O'Brien was struck down by a career-ending injury. For one week each year, the annual grudge match with neighboring Miami of Ohio is the biggest game on the UC schedule. The Bearcats rose to the occasion in 87 with a 31-26 victory.
Coyne, whose performances have been hampered by several nagging injuries, enjoyed his finest game as a UC quarterback. McCoyne passed for a personal best 399 yards. In route, he engineered two fourth-quarter touchdown drives in the comeback victory and scored the winning touchdown himself. The month of October was not kind for the Bearcats as UC suffered consecutive losses to three tough foes. Coming back from arthroscopic knee surgery, McCoy tossed a school record tying four touchdown passes in the Bearcats' 56-28 loss at East Carolina. With McCoy suffering more knee problems, freshman Glenn Farkas stepped into the breach at quarterback versus West Virginia and showed poise in a 45-17 defeat. The Bearcats built a first-half lead over second-ranked Miami of Florida before losing 48-10. festive homecoming on the UC campus was topped by the Bearcats' impressive performance against Tennessee Tech. J.H. Caldwell was one of many defensive players to shine. On offense, Leonard Cry rushed for 132 yards. for two touchdowns and ran for two scores in a 38-17 victory. kicked his seventh straight field goal without a miss, and Al McKinney rushed for 100 yards. They were the lone bright spots in UC's 40-16 loss to Indiana State in the Hoosier Dome. A week later, the Bearcats took out their frustrations with a 42-10 round of Austin P. The UC offense generated big plays like this 65-yard run by Scott Tackett. shined in the kicking game contributed its fine support. finale at Virginia Tech in many ways reflected the kind of season the Bearcats had. UC overcame a two-touchdown deficit in the fourth quarter to bowl to within a point, 21-20. Disdaining a tie for a chance at victory, the Bearcats' two-point conversion attempt failed.
Once again, the team had battled back from adversity to prove that it had the character of a winner, regardless of the score. The 1987 season brought to a close the fine collegiate career of Danny McCoy. The senior rewrote just about every passing and total offense record. who have been so important to the program are free safety John Lewis. Cornerback Terry Noble. And defensive tackle Bob Lushnick. passing the leadership torch to a class of 25 juniors which projects a bright outlook for 1988. Though UC will seek a replacement at quarterback, the receiver core returns intact with Billy Davis, Roosevelt Mukes, Steve Sanders, and Joe Heights. Three-year starter Daryl Huber is back at tight end. attack will be equally as experienced. Al McKinney rushed for over 950 yards in his first season as a starter. Fullbacks Leonard Cry and Scott Tackett became productive while Dwayne Hunter showed fine running skills as a freshman. in 1987 also has all of its principles returning. All of which make 1988, another good year to catch the cats if you can. Yeah.